And welcome back. This is the Paracord Weaver. And today we're going to talk about how to attach a clasp to a snake weave. And I've had a lot of interest in this on my uh, other videos uh, on my dog leashes. So um, what you want to do is create the snake weave that you'd like that goes up into your handle. That would be the end here. And this end, you want to have about, let's see, what do we got here? 10 inches, 10 to 12 inches on each lead. And what we're going to do is uh, very similar to what we did on our clasp for our monkey fist. Uh, we're going to do a double lanyard knot. We're going to put our fingers between the cord. We'll take our cord and we'll twist it and lay it on top and we'll pull this up okay so it's like that and what we'll do is we'll take this cord and we'll go underneath of our black cord and we're gonna go through that hole but before we go through the hole we're gonna put our clasp on there so it goes like that and then we go through just like that and we'll pull it up snug Okay, so that it looks like this. And then what we'll do is we'll pull this, this piece up just a little bit. And this cord that comes out, we're going to run out. We're going to push it back out of that hole. Okay. And then we're going to run it through this clasp. Right there. So it goes through like that. And then we're going to run it back through our hole on the left side, going right. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, and then we'll pull it up snug. So now you have two strands of cord going through your clasp. And then we'll start, or we'll continue on with our lanyard knot. Take this cord, we go around this piece, underneath the black piece, and we're going to come up the center of this hole right here. We're going to come from the bottom, and we're going to come on this side of the clasp, just like that. And we'll lay our clasp over, and take our black lead, and go around this piece, and we're going to come up underneath right in the middle this is the center of our lanyard knot right here we're gonna go around our purple piece our sorry our burgundy piece and we're gonna come up that on this side of the clasp okay And we'll just pull it snug a little bit here and then show you what we've got. Okay. So what we have is a basic lanyard knot with our two leads coming out the top. We have our clasp held in by two strands of cord. Then what we want to do is take one of the leads and we want to go over one of the cords that goes through, sorry, goes over or and through the clasp. Okay? And again, just like on our other video, we're going to take and put it underneath. Just take your your awl or whatever you have here. You can use uh, hemostats or whatever you have. And just want to loosen that up a little bit and take our cord and run it right through there. Okay, just like that. Then turn it over and do the same thing on the other side. I like to mix the colors up, so that's why I'm doing the burgundy over the black and the black over the burgundy so that they uh, keep the contrast going. And again, we're just going to take it just like that. 
and we're going to run our cord right through there. Okay, and then now we're going to go ahead and start snugging this up. And you can tell where the leads are. This one, when you look at this loop, it comes down, it doesn't follow around. Okay, so we're just going to pull it up and just follow it around and pull the slack out of it. Okay. And again, as we get to the end, it's going to come up the center and we're just going to pull that slack out. And then we'll just pull it out here. And now we'll do the other side, the burgundy piece here. Do the same thing. We'll just pull it up and follow it around. Okay, and again, as we get to the end, it's going to come up the center. It's going to come up the center and out the other side there. Okay. Now what we'll do, um, normally I would tighten this up um, a whole bunch more, but with a snake weave, this gives you a great opportunity. Give me a quick second here. <clears throat> okay, so what we'll do is we'll take our fid and we'll just heat this up a little bit. We've already got it mostly shaped. So we'll just soften it up a little bit here. And again, we're just going to take our fingers nice and easy and we're going to screw it right onto the paracord. Okay, so when you're attaching a clasp to the snake lead, this gives you a great opportunity to hide this lead really well. And you can do that by running it right underneath of the snake lead, the loops there. Okay. So as you finish this up, you could run it through four or five of these. Okay. And then now when you trim and singe this lead, you can just flex it around and that lead will be underneath those loops and you'll never see it. Okay, and you can do the same thing on the other side. What we'll do is go ahead and prep this lead. Give it a little bit of a cut at an angle. We'll singe it up just a skoshi. Uh, if you want to Learn how to do that, just go over to the video on how to attach the FID to the paracord. Okay, why it's warm, we'll just stick it in there. And we'll screw it on. Okay. And we'll just take it right underneath, push it right on through. There we go. And again, you can run it through three or four, just like the other side. Just make them match so that it has balance. Make sure you tighten your knot up nice and tight. And that's how you attach a clasp to a snake weave. So this is Paracord Weaver. We hope you found it informative and we'll see you next time.